So in this exam of INICT, eight questions from psychiatry were asked. Let's see all the questions one by one. First question to diagnose the depression, which of the following is not included in ICD-10 criteria? These days we are using ICD-11, right? We have learned that overall we have learned that like if there will be a case of depression. So in depression, there can be lack of mood. There can be lack of food, lack of sleep. And because of this, there will be lack of energy, right? Lack of energy. There will be lack of attention, lack of concentration, lack of judgment power. There can be anhedonia, loss of interest, inability to experience pleasure in all activities is called as anhedonia. Patient can have negative thoughts. Patient can have feeling of guilt. Patient can have suicidal thought also. Out of these symptoms, minimum there should be five symptoms for more than 14 days, right? So this is the definition of depression. So we can easily rule out here option A, B and D. Loss of self-esteem or loss of confidence. This is not a criteria of the depression. So here answer is C. Next question. First line agents for the treatment of acute mania. See, we have learned in our class also for acute mania, you can start with antipsychotics. Antipsychotics, second generation will be more preferred than first generation. So, antipsychotics like olanzapine, even first generation like haloperidol. And first line is also what? Mood stabilizers. Yes, so here out of these four options, yes. First, second, third, yes, we can use these drugs as first line drugs. So here, more than one answer was correct. Next question. A schizophrenia patient says, Lord Hanuman was a celibate. I am a celibate too. Therefore, I am Lord Hanuman. This is an example of, first of all, easily you can rule out. Neologism means Neologism is to coin a new word. This is a type of formal thought disorder. See, celibate is not a new word. Celibate means a person who refrains from sexual intercourse for religious purpose. Okay. After that, option number one, loss of association. This is also a type of formal thought disorder where there will be loss of connection between the thoughts. So, see option number four, verbiage rate. Unnecessary repetition of same word and same phrase in between normal speech. So here we can easily rule out all these. So here option number two is correct here. Artistic type of thinking. So there can be fantasy life. So there can be fantasy type of thinking. So even in schizophrenia, we have learned about four A's of Bleuler. A for autism socially withdrawn and autistic type of thinking, right? Fantasy type of thinking. Second A, ambivalence, where a person is not able to decide like what to do, okay? A for affective flattening or affective disturbances and A for association disturbances. So here answer will be to fantasy type of thinking, autistic type of thinking. Next. Which new psychoactive substance is found to have a rapid acting antidepressant action? See, in class also I've taught, you know, for resistant depression, we can use a nasal spray of S-ketamine. S-ketamine is an enantiomer of ketamine, right? So this will be given through nasal root. There will be risk of dependency. So that's why this is given in front of the doctor weekly once only. Right, S ketamine. See here, first root is nasal root, second is IV root. This is only antidepressant. This is the only antidepressant which can be given through IV root, which will be having fastest action, rapid action. So here answer is A. Fifth question. A 40-year-old woman with bipolar disorder is planning to have a pregnancy. Which of the following drugs must be avoided due to the possibility of a neural tube defects? Easiest question we have learned multiple times in the class also, right? I keep on talking in the class that which mood stabilizer should never be tried during pregnancy, right? Answer is 
wall print because of the higher risk of neural tube defect spina bifida simple question this was easy next question all of the following statements are right except see if you would have read all options easily you could have ruled out see option number c flumazenil is used for the management of long-term use of alcohol no flumazenil is given for overdose of benzodiazepine toxicity okay so this is wrong here option number a opioid withdrawal is rarely fatal yes it is see opioid overdose will cause a patient c p r patient will be in a coma and there will be pinpoint pupil and respiratory depression patient can die because of respiratory depression so overdose is fatal opioid withdrawal is not fatal option number b buprenorphine can be used for the management of opioid withdrawal yes this also correct cannabis withdrawal is associated with less symptoms yes see after withdrawal from the cannabis mostly there will be irritation and all so d is also correct like with the minimum symptoms okay this was option number four next question which of the following statements is false yes in this question so many students had actually confusion so we can go through all the options option number c opioids have very effective analgesics obviously we have learned about morphine option number d volatile inhalational agents are mostly toxic to humans yes this is also correct option number b Cannabis use can, can result in self-driven and repetitive behaviors. Yes, any substance abuse can uh, like it can cause this. So this is actually partially correct. But option number A, what about option number A? Alcohol in a low dose in CNS is excitatory and high dose is a CNS depressant. See, excitatory behavior is seen after low dose of alcohol that is because of disinhibition but alcohol is always depressant only alcohol is always cns depressant so here answer will be a eighth question an eeg patient eyes for some time alpha wave beta theta and a delta wave when a person is 100 percent awake at that time beta wave will be there when you close your eyes when you are closing your eyes at that time there will be alpha wave when you are entering the deep sleep when you are entering the deep sleep theta right so basically you can say ki light sleep when patient was asked to eyes for some time so so what using his beta wave so overall out of eight questions i'm sure you would have done minimum seven right answers okay i wish you all the best thank you thank you so much